What's up everyone, hostile athlete Julian Perez here, and today we're going to be going over body grooming. For all my hairy guys out there, and I guess ladies too, this one's for you, no need to worry, we got you covered. So, when I first started um, shaving for bodybuilding, I was honestly pretty confused and lost. I didn't know which razor to use, um, if I should use an electric razor, which one's gonna provide me with the best bang for my buck, and what's the most efficient way to go about it. So, in this video, I'm gonna cover all that and what I think is the most efficient way and what I do personally. So, um, let's get started off with where I first started. When I first began shaving, I used to wear these bad boys. Now, mind you, I'm Mexican, Puerto Rican, and Italian, so I get pretty damn ha hairy. And using one of these things is like using a machete through a jungle. It's gonna take you forever. So, um, not the most efficient way. It took a real long time, and a few days later, I had a ton of razor burns and, and bumps. So, don't recommend this. You know, maybe for your arms, your chest, whatever. Um, but this is takes way too long, and I personally don't like it. So a few years later, or not a few years later, but a few weeks later, I invested in one of these guys. I went through two of these. It's a Phillips with one blade. Um, this one's pretty um, common in the body, but then we'll, you'll see a lot of guys talk about it. Um, it's only 35 bucks, so it's a pretty good price, and it, gets, it does the job. It gets it done pretty well. Um, I just broke this one, and lot, this one specifically lasts me about two, two and a half years. And I use, I shave about once a week, so I was using it quite often. And the only reason it broke is because I turned it on, and I had hair after I was shaving, I was trying to you know, smash against the sink, and it smashed a little too hard. Um, I guess the progress is going well, right? Smashed a little too hard, didn't recognize my own strength, and it broke. So, it's okay though, um, because for Christmas, I got this guy right here. This is also a Phillips um, brand. It's the Phillips Body Groom 3500. I like this one a lot. Um, honestly, I don't sure how much this cost because it was a gift, but I think it's around the 40 to $50 range, maybe even $35 as well. I looked it up before making this video and I saw it range from $35 to $50. So I guess it just depends on where you buy it from. But this is a really good one. And another reason why I like this one in particular is because it comes with one of these bad boys. So you don't have to bug your girlfriend, your mom, your dog, whatever. You just get this guy, turn it on, and go to town, which is nice. So I really like this one. Um, I've noticed in a better shape with this one personally. I don't know why, but it works incredibly well. But whatever, you know, look at the reviews, look at the features, see which one you like more. I like this one a little more personally, but that's just me. So this is the one we're gonna be doing today in today's video. Um, so when I shave, I like to start off with my legs because it takes the longest and I just wanna get that out of the way. So I usually go in the shower, right? I try shaving like outside, like the toilet, the sink area, but that's honestly just too messy. I find it way more efficient to just shave in the shower, get it in the tub, you know, just do your business, get all that hair down there. And then once you're done and you have all the hair in the tub, you get a napkin, get a towel, get a broom, something, sweep it up, grab it, and uh, throw it in the trash can. So, and then there's gonna be some like residual hair left over, that's fine. Those are honestly really small, just, shower it, wash it down the drain, and you should be fine. I've been doing that for about three and a half years now, and I haven't had any plumbing issues, so you should be fine in that sense. And how I do my legs, I kind of just prop it up, ooh, a little, little skin on the leg. I kind of just prop it up on the tub, and then from there, I just shave my calves, my hamstrings, like so. Um, honestly, I'm a little too lazy when I do this, and I get a little too comfortable, so. Um, I don't like have a mirror or anything, but I have heard of people using a mirror to make sure they get every, every, between all the nicks and grannies, right? So a mirror may help you if that's something you want to do, go for it. But I kind of just look here, say, hey, okay, I'm good there. Other side, shave there, and then I move on to the next leg. Another imperative factor in shaving too is um, lighting. I know it sounds kind of dumb, but light is going to play a huge role. There's been times where I've shaved and like, kind of dark lightings because I'm new from houses to houses or whatnot. And and bathrooms that have poor lighting, um, you'll like you'll notice um, from time to time you may have missed a few spots. 
You know, there's been times where I go to the gym and I'm like, I thought I got everything. And I have a huge like patch of hair like on my calf or something. You know, good thing I have high socks on those days. But, you know, lighting plays an important role. So I start with the legs. Like I said, just prop it up. Do your business. Shave, shave, shave. And then from there, um, I work up to the family jewels region. And then I'm very careful there. Now that's a matter of personal preference. Uh, I just go nice and slow. That's a key thing. Um, just go nice and slow because you don't want to get hurt there, right? You don't want to get any cuts. So go nice and slow. Do your business there. Um, just trim, right? Do whatever you want to do. And then from there, I go back to my, or I go up to my, my lower abdominal region. And I just keep shaving there. Shaving, shaving, shaving. Working up to my chest, shaving, shaving, shaving. Obviously, if you have a mirror in hand, like a small mirror, a hand mirror, that will come in handy because you can just look and see what parts you need to shave. If not, get in the shower, look in your mirror if you have one in front of you. Most people do. And then see what you need to do. Come back here, shave, repeat. So that's how I go about it. Um, after I'm done with my chest, then I do the small things like shoulders, arms. Honestly, upper body doesn't take a whole lot. <clears throat> it doesn't really take a long time, excuse me. Um, I can do my upper body in about five minutes. Um, it doesn't take a long time. My, my legs, however, um, hair is thicker there, so it does tend to take me a while, but um, that's why I start with the first, just to get out of the way. So that is pretty much how I shave. Um, like I said, this guy right here, this like extension kit for your razor to shave your back, comes in handy. Um, I'll just come here. I'll just do my thing, shave, shave, shave. Like I said, when I'm when I'm done or when I think I'm done, I look in the mirror, see how it looks. And if it's a little too hairy still or missing spots, I'll just go again. Another thing you can do too is set your phone up, um, take a picture of your back, and see see what spots um, you missed if you did, and then and then um, shave again if you need to. So that's uh, that's pretty much how I approach it. Another thing I forgot to mention too is. I, when I shave in the tub, I make sure that the that it's dry and I do it before showering. I know it's just easier that way. I've tried doing it while I'm showering, I've tried doing it after a shower, and the body's just too wet and it makes it kind of difficult. So do it beforehand, that's what I'd recommend. And then, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. Um, like I said, electric razors are what I prefer, much easier, um, last a long time, and it's, it's fast within the day. So, like I said, Philips 3500, um, pretty good brand. That's the one I recommend. And I'm trying to make sure I cover all the bases. Um, I know like people recommend moisturizing. I personally don't. After do it, it's probably a good thing. I I'm, I'm probably should do it. I probably will. Um, just to hydrate the skin and whatnot. But um, yeah, if you want to moisturize, moisturize. It's probably a good idea. So that's Manscaping 101. Just really simple, quick breakdown for you guys. And maybe ladies. So um, that's it. If you guys like this, you know, like, comment, subscribe, and maybe we'll do another series with this. Maybe like a facial routine or something. You know, we gotta make sure you know um, our fellow meatheads are are looking good in the gym, right? So looking good in the gym and outside the gym. So um, yeah, that's it, guys. If you have any questions or if you like experimented with shaving and you and you find something that's that I didn't mention that's also really efficient and, and works for you. Please put in the comments below. Let's all help each other out. So that's it for me, guys. Um, like I said, like, subscribe, comment. I'll see you later.